I have the uh, 1986 560 SL. As you can see, it uh, presents uh, well. Uh, just coming up uh, close on it. I didn't see that many uh, uh, blemishes on this one here. Uh, first one that I caught was here uh, at the uh, fender area. So you can see there where it's been uh, touched up. The lenses all look good. I've uh, checked them for any cracks, they look pretty good. Chrome is decent on the uh, front bumper and the rubber looks good as well. I'll start getting you some uh, readings here on the uh, right uh, fender. So let's try that again. So we got 5.5, we have 6.5, and we have uh, 15 and a half here. So we have some paintwork there. Uh, let's here get some readings on the hood here. Huh. Getting a uh, 19.7 now. I'll come around and check the other side here. Um, grill looks good. Chrome looks good as well. Uh, pretty, pretty flawless here. Just a little smudge there. I tried rubbing it a little bit, but it may need to get worked a little bit more. Again, the lenses look good, and the front spoiler area looks pretty good. Uh, let's get the uh, fender reading here. So we got six. Uh, there's a small little nick right there. It looks like it's just been touched up. Uh, another small little scratch there. Fault it with my finger now. Uh, so that one, it can be improved, but it won't be 100%. So six and a half, seven, five, four, five, four and a half, five, four and a half. Let's go back over here. Okay, good. All right, so four and a half, five, and five thousandths of an inch. So far, it looks uh, pretty good. Okay, taking a look at the uh, left front fender area. All right, pretty straightforward. Body lines look pretty good. Uh, I've already got uh, pictures of the rims and the tires. I think the um, DOT number on this one is 2016, so fairly new tires. And what else here? Thought I saw a little bit of curb rash on one. I think it's on the rear rim. Uh, impact strips look pretty good. Took a look at the uh, windshield. Didn't see any obvious chips, scratches, or cracks. Here's a good view of the dash. From this view here, I don't see any warpage here. Um, so it's good. I've already got the tag already. And then we've got the roof line. So I get some readings here. Three and a half, four, Three and a half and three and a half. Uh, trim uh, looks pretty good as far as the, the bright work. Mirror is nice and secure. Okay. Body lines look pretty good. Don't see any obvious uh, dings or dents. Okay. Oh, let's get the door readings. Okay. Six. Five and a half. Five. Six. Good. Seeing some, some consistency there. Six. All right, let's uh, get some more readings up there. So five, five and a half, 16 and a half. Okay, so we're getting a, a high reading here on the upper uh, quarter panel. Okay, three, three, five and a half, four and a half. Okay, all right, so let's get another view here on the back side. All right, let's get here. Rear window looks good. Also check the glass for delamination. Didn't see anything obvious, so so far so good. Get the back end readings. Four, four and a half, five, four, four, four and a half, or I'm sorry, four. Okay. Looking at the back end. Look at the uh, tail lights. Didn't see any cracks. Rubber looks back good back here. And the chrome uh, is in good shape as well. All right. Here, four, three and a half, two and a half, four, four. Get a quick little look back here. Good look, look at it. Look at it at uh, different angles. Looks good. Right. Okay. Take a look at the uh, roof line again. Uh, mirror looks pretty good. Get some door readings. Three and a half, four, uh, four, four. Four and a half, four, looking good. Six, four and a half, four and a half. And uh, windshield looks good, nothing obvious. And coming up on the right fender, I think we already got these readings already. Seven, 
five and a half. Four and a half. And five. Okay. Again, impact strips look pretty good. Rims, uh, chrome looks like it's in decent shape. Tires, still fairly new, it looks like. And that's the exterior. Let's do a quick little walk around here. Again, just to give you some more angles in viewing the vehicle. Hmm. All right. So I'll move on to the uh, engine bay area. Oh, let me just show you how the doors close. They're uh, nice and solid. They don't drop. Good. And pretty well aligned. And this is double check the passenger side. Okay. Okay. Nice and solid. They don't drop. No rattle noises. Okay. Moving on. So I'm about to start the vehicle so that way you can see how it starts up. Uh, when uh, the seller first started up, it was the same as as I'm doing now. It just fires right up and I'll gauge it. There we go. Okay, uh, full oil pressure there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the gauges. Got a reading of 37 to 184. Okay, RPM around 900. Okay, uh, SRS light is on, so I'm gonna look at that, make sure um, to follow up on that there. Okay, um, just picking up a slight fluctuation of the idle right now. So we'll see what happens um, as it warms up a little bit. I'm gonna let it run here. Uh, even after I shut off the video, probably like for another 10 15 minutes while I still work on the rest of it. I took a look at the uh, tailpipe uh, when it first started. I uh, didn't see uh, no no smoke coming out. Okay, so that's a good sign. All right, moving over here to the engine uh, bay area. Everything looks uh, pretty clean. I've already uh, checked all the fluids here. Uh, the, uh, the, br the brake fluid needs to get replaced. It's pretty dark. Uh, also, the uh, power steering. Uh, that's also uh, almost the same color as our brake fluid. Uh, you know, it needs to be like a nice pink color. The uh, pulleys look pretty good right now. Uh, don't see any any wobbling there. Uh, you can hear the idle hunt a little bit, but again, uh, we'll uh, let it idle for a little bit longer. I know on these tanks they're notorious for leaking on the sides with the plastic and aluminum, so I, I make sure that I, I uh, verify that you are not leaking there on the sides. I've already pulled the oil uh, in a great shape. Uh, I think I hear a lazy lifter right now out here on the back end. So let's just uh, let it idle a little bit longer. The uh, power steering fluid uh, uh, looks like it was in good condition. Uh, again, on the oil, I don't know if you can hear that a little bit, but the lifter on the back end sounds like uh, a little noisy. All right, um, uh, cool it, level good. I would just like to check to see if there's any, any bubbling there. Okay. Okay. I'm good. All right. And then just move around a little bit more. Okay. And forward. And uh, underneath the uh, hood looks good. The uh, matting uh, looks like it's either a uh, really nice original or brand new. Looks pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna let it uh, run a little bit longer. We'll take one last look at the uh, gauges. See where we're at. And okay, uh, just below um, a quarter on the fuel. Uh, temp gauge is uh, slightly rising, so we know that's working at least. And the idle uh, looks like it's maintaining a little better. And then we'll keep an eye on the clock. All right. Again. Uh, I don't know how long these cars sit, so we always can't be too hard on some of these noises that we hear. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and shut down it. I'm just going to check some of the operations here. Uh, one of the first things I noticed is that the uh, bulb failure indicator light's coming on. So I'll have to go out there and do the light check. But from what I can see in the reflection, I can see the low beams and the high beams engage. Don't see the blinkers offhand, so I'll do the walk around here in a little bit. Uh, but the, the horn works. Um, the brake release. Uh, so when I engage the brake and then I put it in gear, uh, you can see it's still rolling. So the uh, parking brake does not hold the vehicle in place uh, when it's in gear. So that's one of the things I check. I uh, checked the windshield wipers. Uh, those are working. Uh, even the washer jets are working, um, which I rarely see on older cars. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm going to 
test the uh, cruise control when that time comes. I've already checked the AC, that's working, and it blew nice and cold, and then the heat as well. Uh, felt good. Uh, the radio uh, works. I've got that on right now. And I've checked the antenna. You can see it back there. And then, and it just uh, goes down without issue there. I have also made sure that these uh, lights work. Okay, good. Uh, same here on this side as well. All right. Okay, and then I checked the uh, dome light as well. That, that turned on. Um, the wood, I noticed that it's, um, you know, it's not severely cracked or anything. It just has a haze to it. A haze. And then I just saw like a light scratch right there. That stuff might be able to get worked and bring the luster back. I'm no expert at uh, wood reconditioning, so you may want to reach out to somebody regarding that if that becomes an issue. I checked all the windows already. They go up and down. Uh, mirror works as well. And uh, well, this is a manual adjustment, so it's not an issue there. And I think I mentioned the power door locks are working. Seats all move forward and backwards. Uh, seat belts engaged. Uh, the, oh, the SRS light was on originally. So it looks like it's off now. Okay. So good. Uh, let's see what else. Um, armrest was good. Uh, I think there was a blemish on the uh, driver's side seat. And uh, that's it. I'm going to take a look underneath and then road test it. Checking the uh, stopping without the uh, hands off the wheel. So it stopped pretty straight. Uh, we're at the stop sign now. We're just waiting for our turn and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll try to go through the gears. Kind of limited as far as how fast we can go and uh, because of the traffic here, but it's a slow moving down. You can't go on the freeway. You can't go on the freeway. Um, it's right there. Yeah, so uh, we got the uh, speedometer that's working. All the gauges, we can see that's uh, all operating. And the uh, freeway here, the interstate. Okay. One. I think it starts in second okay. if you go on this. All right, so we're just going through the gears. Seamless. Good acceleration kick down. 6,000 RPMs. 70 miles an hour. Just a little bit of uh, wind noise coming from the top. Uh, driving straight. No, uh, no shimmy. And uh, maintaining a good speed, about 70 miles an hour. It's a huge bonus. We typically never do this. Gears again accelerating. Uh, seems to shift uh, well. Yeah, no shimmy at all. Yeah, no yeah. They're pretty, pretty solid. We saw tires have a date code 1516. Somebody asked me yesterday. Yes. So 15th week of 